Hello parents, this is Mr. Moore with your PVES In The Know video newsletter for the month of September 2016. Now parents, a lot of really good information that will be helpful for you, so hope you will make time to watch and or listen uh, as we disseminate that information to you through our video newsletter, reminding you again that it comes to you uh, at the beginning of each month as we kind of front load the month for you. And, of course, we'll be talking about September at Pattersville Elementary School and how you can stay connected with us. I want to start off, as we always do, with our students and our faculty and mention our PRIDE acronym. We have spent a lot of time the first few weeks of school talking to our students about being purposeful, being respectful, being innovative, being determined, and being excellent. We expect the same of the adults in the building. And so we talk about what this looks like. We do that through conversations in the classroom. Uh, we also do that over our morning announcements. Um, they actually, many students, took part in some activities at the beginning of school to unwrap this uh, idea a little bit further. So please make sure that you discuss the PRIDE acronym with your child uh, and what that looks like, not only at school, but at home. We want to thank all of our parents and students for uh, the wonderful start to the 16-17 school year. You can see pictures of the first week of school. Uh, students already working hard. Teachers worked hard to prepare uh, for the arrival of our students. And we are thrilled with the beginning of school and how things have gone uh, and gone smoothly. So thank you for that. That's what makes Powdersville Elementary such a great place to learn and work. I'm sure you've noticed by now, if you drop your student off in the mornings, our PVES patrols are outside helping with morning arrival. Their job is to get uh, your child out of the car quickly and safely and to keep our traffic line moving. So thank you for your patience and thank you for being ever vigilant when we have young people out there serving. Uh, obviously, we would remind you to please be off of your cell phone parents as you make your way into the unloading and loading zone in the morning and afternoon. And thanks again to our fifth grade patrols who are serving our school uh, in the morning. Another thanks to our Pattersville uh, under 10 football team. Uh, you probably have seen them occasionally outside helping in the mornings with traffic as well. Good luck to these gentlemen as they play this season. And thanks for serving your school through uh, morning traffic duty. It's been awesome to see. A huge congratulations to Ms. Wilcox, fifth grade teacher. Ms. Wilcox, uh, as many now know, received a grant that was funded by Michelin North America. It's an environmental grant, uh, almost $17,000 worth. And we'll be releasing more information soon about uh, the really the contents of this grant, what it's all about. For those of you who had a third grader last year, it kind of... Um, uses the idea of the PBL, the Problem-Based Learning Unit, that our third graders did last year with honeybees, and expands that into uh, sustainable gardens. Uh, we're going to be partnering with Clemson University uh, as we build uh, self-sustaining gardens on our property uh, and, and much more. So you'll want to stay tuned. But a huge congratulations to Ms. Wilcox and uh, her third grade team from last year. Uh, and the hard work she put in in preparing this grant. Thank you to Michelin North America for again funding a $17,000 grant for our school. A few reminders, parents. iPad started going home today. That's Tuesday, September the 6th. If the student has paid the iPad protection plan of $29, we will not send the iPad home until that protection plan has been paid. Also, parents, we want to remind you that there is the instructional fee of $15 as well, so please make sure that you've paid that. Doors do open in the morning at 7.20 a.m. A reminder that no student should be dropped off before 7.20 and left unattended, um, so please make sure you help us out with that. In the morning, we open doors at 7.20. And again, I mentioned it earlier, but it's worth mentioning uh, parents, we need you to make sure that you are off of your cell phone when you are in the unloading and loading zone in our car line 
if you're on your cell phone, you may be asked to pull around and get out of your car to retrieve your child in the afternoon. Uh, that is a huge safety concern for us, and we thank you for making sure that you are off of your cell phone as you enter the unloading and loading zone each morning, and then, of course, in the afternoon for pickup. We are excited about partnering with Boosterfun for our Golden Rule Rally fundraiser. The theme is Backyard Box Office, but unlike the traditional uh, fundraiser that we've done with Boosterfun in the past, uh, we are doing this fundraiser, and it's based on acts of kindness. So there will be no fun run event as we have done in years past, but rather we will be celebrating the acts of kindness the good things that our kids do for one another and others in the community. Um, so you can see some of the uh, bullet points there. We just had our kickoff. It was uh, broadcasted live on Facebook. You can go back and check that out. We had a great time at our pep rally kicking things off. You can start collecting pledges now and through September the 15th. Our fundraising goal for the school is at least $20,000. We've done that. Uh, for about five or six consecutive years. Uh, there's no reason to think that we can't do that now. Unlike Boosterthon, as I just mentioned, there's no fun run. It's based on acts of kindness. It goes right along with our pride acronym uh, and what we want our kids to be all about here at Pattersville Elementary School. On September the 15th, we'll have the Golden Rule Rally celebration for each grade level. We'll be sending out more information about that. Uh, funds are being raised to improve playground equipment, reading materials, and then uh, STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. Uh, we have a STEM lab now, but we want to continue to expand that in the classroom as well. And as you can see highlighted in green, you need to help your child tonight. If you haven't already, log on to goldenrulerally.com, register for that, and start collecting pledges. Uh, we certainly appreciate your support. This is obviously the big fundraiser that we'll do this year, and so we want just an awesome participation uh, rate, percentage, um, and obviously the more that participate, the more money we will raise. And as mentioned, this goes right back to our kids and classrooms. So thanks for your support of the Golden Rule Rally. Running Club, just a reminder, begins Thursday, September the 15th after school. Running Club is for fourth and fifth grade students who have parent permission. That's via a form that should have already been completed and signed uh, and turned back into school. You also need to make sure that at 4 p.m. when running club ends, uh, that the student has a ride uh, as buses will not be running at that time for our school. If you have questions, you can contact your child's homeroom teacher or specifically Miss Wilkie and Miss Wayne. Um, their email addresses are listed there below. The book fair is on the way. This is always an exciting time, and from September 23rd through October 4th, please stop by the library uh, and participate in our book fair. Uh, Ms. Fowler is able to use proceeds from the book fair to purchase books to add to our collection in our media center. So make note of the book fair and stop by and visit Ms. Fowler. Thanks for supporting us. There is no school. As a reminder, on Monday, September the 26th, that is a professional development day for teachers. Again, no school on Monday, September the 26th. We want to let you know, parents, that we are involved. Anderson School District 1 is involved in one book, one district. Um, basically, this is designed to encourage our families and our kids especially to continue to read and stress the importance of literacy. Every child will receive a book this month. And every student in Anderson School District 1 will read this book at home with family. Uh, we'll be dropping hints uh, in our building leading up to the unveiling of which book they will receive. The kickoff is Wednesday, September the 28th. That's when students will receive their book and read Chapter 1 at home. So we again want to encourage you to get involved by reading with your child and not just through the one district or one book, one district event, but also reading with your child consistently every night. It's a great thing. It improves reading comprehension, uh, and it is an invaluable thing that you can do with your child each and every night. But thanks for supporting us as we do participate in the One Book, One District initiative. Hopefully your child will fill you in on details as we uh, send that book home later in the month of September, and they begin reading that book at home. 
All right, fifth graders, we've got the fifth grade glow dance. It's coming up Friday, September the 30th from 6 to 7.30 in our multi-purpose room. Uh, to attend, the child must be a fifth grader uh, at Powdersville Elementary School, or there are some other elementary schools that are in Anderson School District 1, and they must also be fifth graders um, there. There's live music, there's candy, there's glow sticks, there's face painting, all for sale. And for just $5, students receive a ticket to enter, and that ticket comes with a slice of pizza and drink. It's a great deal, so we hope to see a huge crowd of 5th graders on hand on Friday, September the 30th for our 5th grade glow dance. Are you smarter than your elementary school student? Well, parents, we're not sure, so we're going to try to help you out a little bit. Be on the lookout soon for dates that will be released. There will be door prizes and food options available for these events. They'll be held in the evening for parents, and they are specifically for parents, so you can learn how to best help your student be successful in third, fourth, or fifth grade. Teachers will be on hand at these events to offer information uh, and answer questions about each subject area, how you can best study with your student, and much more. There will also be an opportunity for fun, uh, that includes an Are You Smarter Than competition for parents. So we will release those dates soon, and we look forward to the Are You Smarter Than um, events coming up later this month. And parents, finally, as we do each and every In The Know video newsletter, we want you to connect with us. Um, we have uh, 600 or so followers on Facebook. Our Twitter feed has uh, about a thousand followers at this point. Instagram right up there with Facebook. And same for Remind Text Messaging. Uh, to stay involved and to stay connected, just follow us, join us on social media and Remind Text Messaging. Uh, as a matter of fact, I sent out a text message today, parents, about our fundraiser that we're excited about. So hope everyone has a wonderful month of September. We thank you so much for your support. Again, it's been a tremendous start to the school year, uh, and parents, we couldn't do that without you. Thanks a lot. Please let us know if you have any questions. Have a great month.